Mr. Justice Tasadduk Hossain Jilani to grace us with his presence on the stage and share his keynote address with the audience. I would also like to invite uh, and request Honorable Mr. Justice Jawad Hassan, Lahore High Court, to on the stage, to be seated on the stage because his address will follow. And Honorable Mr. Justice Yusuf Ali Said, High Court of Sin, on the stage as well. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Akif Saeed, the Chairman, Security Exchange Commission. Honorable Judges of the Balochistan, Sindh, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Punjab, and Islamabad. Representatives from the World Bank and from U.S. Embassy in Pakistan. Honorable members of the legal fraternity, ladies and gentlemen. It's indeed a great honor uh, uh, this morning to be speaking to you on a very important subject uh, which uh, is crucial in our current times of increasing concern about social welfare and environment. As most of you are aware, the corporate sector plays a pivotal role in the economic development and stability of any country. In Pakistan, it is a vital component of a country's business landscape, and a strong corporate sector contributes to job creation, increased productivity, and overall economic growth. By fostering entrepreneurship, attracting investments, and promoting innovation, a robust corporate sector lays the foundation for sustainable development and enhances Pakistan's competitiveness on the global stage. In recent years, the concept of corporate social respons responsibility has gained traction and its importance cannot be undermined. It has become a powerful tool for ad addressing social and environmental issues while promoting sustainable development. Corporate social responsibility refers to the voluntary actions taken by businesses to contribute positively to society. It goes beyond mere profit making and recognizes the broader impact companies have on the communities and environments in which they operate. In Pakistan, as in other parts of the world, the perception of business has evolved from being purely profit oriented to embracing a more responsible and sustainable approach. This shift has been fueled by several factors, including heightened public awareness, changing consumer expectations, and the recognition that businesses have a role to play in addressing social and environmental challenges. Broadly speaking, Corporate social responsibility has four dimensions. Number one is environmental. Number two is ethical and human rights responsibility. Number three is philanthropic responsibility. And number four, economic responsibility. As most of you would be aware, the genesis of corporate social responsibility 
lies in our ethical and religious moorings. For instance, in Islam, the concept of zakat is primarily a concept of corporate social responsibility. In Christianity, we have similar concept in Buddhism too, and in Hinduism also, we have this concept. In Pakistan, we have ex marvelous examples of uh, the then big industrialists. I mean, in the, the, those times, there were no industry. So big contractors you be, used to be the industrialists are the big businesses. In Lahore alone, we have um, Gulab Baby Hospital, which was built in 1934, and it catered to uh, 54 patients initially, and now today it's a 1,500-bedded hospital. It was built by a Hindu in the name of his mother, who died of tuberculosis. Then we have Sir Gangaram Hospital, Lady Magligan College, the Gangaram Trust, and in recent times we have Indus Hospital, which again is a classic example of corporate social responsibility. In Mirpur Khas, we have Udha Vas Hospital Sakha, which was built by a Hindu uh, way back in 1940s, early 40s. As some of you would be aware, through legal reforms, this concept has been inserted in S Section 227 of the Companies Act. A key reform in corporate social responsibility involves active stakeholder engagement. Companies are now focusing on understanding the needs and expectations of their stakeholders, including employees, communities, customers, and shareholders. Environmental sustainability. Recognizing the pressing need to address environmental challenges, many companies in Pakistan are, are adopting sustainable practices. Then they are investing in education, skill development, and in philanthropic partnerships. In the evolving jurisprudence of Supreme Court in promoting the corp corporate social responsibility, uh, we have certain very instructive judgments where it ordered the companies to issue an annual report about their social welfare obligations. In one of the most recent judgments of the Supreme Court, Justice Mansouri Dishah gave a very Im important remark vis-a-vis -vis environmental consideration. He, he said, said, and I quote, the environment needs to be protected in its own right. There is more to protecting the nature than a human-centered rights regime, unquote. Then if you look at the global stage, we have multinational companies investing in corporate social responsibility, Microsoft, Unilever, the body shop, than the Google. The ladies and gentlemen, by recognizing the importance of human rights in the corporate context, we can foster a culture of responsible business conduct that goes beyond mere compliance with laws and regulations. 
Through concrete actions, companies can demonstrate their commitment to respecting human rights, addressing social inequalities, and contributing to sustainable development. Together, we can explore the opportunities and responsibilities that lie at the intersection of human rights and corporate world, striving for a more equitable and rights-respecting global landscape and a business that business can contribute to the promotion and protection of human rights, thereby demonstrating their commitment to ethical and responsible conduct beyond mere profit-making objectives. Before I conclude, I would like to add that Corporate social responsibility has a strong moral dimension which reflects on the need for corporations to, fund, to address fundamental ethical issues such as inclusion, dignity, and equality. With this message and hope, I wish this conference to be very productive in achieving its goals. Thank you.